What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Ohio Car Spotters. My name's Cam and welcome back to sunny Ohio. Today is a nice April day, but we're not staying in Ohio today. We got something special for you. We are going to Indy Cars and Coffee in Indianapolis. That's where we're headed. We're going to the Lucas Oil Raceway, watch some drag racing and see their shows because we wanted to check it out for once in a while, do something different. Um, so I will talk to you guys when we're there. Let me show you my ride for the day and uh, we'll get started. So here is what we're riding for today. Let me get in and then I'll talk to you guys once we get there. All right guys, we made it to Indianapolis. We are at the raceway now. There's hundreds, if not thousands of cars here right now. Uh, made it all good. Looks like we got some blue skies and just a little bit of wind. So we were praying the weather was gonna be great today and looks like it worked out in the end. Um, just a little overview here, it looks like Raceways over there, obviously, but there is just cars and cars and cars everywhere. So, so what I'll do is I'll take you guys around, show you some of my favorite picks, and then we'll get over to drag racing, watch them start racing. Um, but it'll be a good video. So if you do enjoy, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like or comment. Uh, see you guys soon. Nice Ferrari. All right, second spot here. We got a new Nissan Z. Haven't seen one of these in public yet, but I guess Indiana's the lucky state for new car spots. Nice little car going here. GT500 Heaven here. Got some gray. Nice little wrapper. I maybe even paint on this one. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. This is nice. Got a Corvette. Another GT500 there on the back. Very nice. Very nice. Check it out guys, brand new GT4 RS. The camera's not doing justice on the color here, but this is just beautiful. RSR pulled in, looking nice, crazy, crazy wide wheels here. Thing is beautiful. Check this thing out, more engine than car itself. This is crazy looking. Would you guys do that to your Jeep? I personally, I don't know, but it looks nice. It's probably pretty quick. Can't hear me too much over the Mustang over here. That's not that guy. Not uh, Shelby. Oh, right here. This is looking nice. Pristine condition. Check this out guys, Ford's carbon food on the Mercedes here, this thing is nice looking. Check out the wing on this Mustang, wow, I don't know if I would do this on my Mustang, it's quite the big wing, but let's check out the front. Very, very strange conversion. I don't know what's going on, but quite the car. Nissan's always got to set up those perfect shots with the reflection off the water. Looks like we got a GTR always paired up with a Viper next to it. Got the two race cars next to each other, obviously. Fun to see them on the drag strip. Hopefully they go out today. Um, but it behind me, I know I just used my uh, ears, heard a little V10 in the distance. Not the vet, obviously, but it does look like we have a nicely spec blue Huracan right here. Looks nice. Maybe see him on the drag strip today. Sounds nice. Also, just like the BMW M3 over there with the same color, camera doesn't pick up the justice of it, not quite, but Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio, I think it is called. Top trim for Alfa Romeo. These make a lot of horsepower. These are quite fast, so sedan, but it's nice, so good car. This might be one of my favorites of the meet so far. This LC500 is very, very well done. Wide body kit, carbon hood. I mean, there's not much going wrong with this car. Everything's going for him. Shout him out here, Lexer on Instagram. I mean, beautiful car overall, completely 
well done. Looks like build is pretty much complete. I mean, the paint just reflects off the sun, purple, like, mm. This is probably my favorite so far, but I'll keep you guys updated. So you got a nice McLaren pulling up next to the Porsche here. Both nice cars. Which one do you take though? I don't know. I think I'd probably take the Porsche over the McLaren if I'm being totally honest. But I don't know. Leave a comment. Walking up to a custom Corvette here. This is a Corvette, but very, very custom. I'll show you the engine cover here. Looks nice. I mean, good wheels, good fitment. Looks great color. Here's the inside here. Really, really well done. Got the sign right here. In the back here. That's nice. Next, we'll take you over to this race car, Audi R8. All right, check out this R8. Now, this thing completely kitted out. I don't know if you can see roll cage in there. You got shifters, everything. Centers. Pure, pure race car. Alright, so we just walked around the whole meet. We saw a lot of cool cars, filmed some, but now it's time to head over to the other side, watch some drag races. I'll film it for you guys. Um, see what runs. So we saw the cars sitting still, but let's see how they perform on the drag strip on the quarter mile. So once we get over there, I'll give you guys some good races. It's so windy today, but it's a great day overall. I mean, cars and cars and cars lined up for dragging, and then, I mean, this gives you a good perspective. I mean, there is so many cars here. It was a great turnout. I'm glad I ended up uh, coming down here to Indianapolis for this meet. All right, guys, thank you all for coming today. And if you have some cars, and uh, we'll see you next time. Let's go to the Mustang's got an Insta360 on the back. I'm putting my money on the Mustang here versus the BMW, but let's see. Let's find out. here. Oh wow. I'll go with the Mustang. Ford versus Dodge. Yeah, I'm saying Ford. Mustang is definitely a manual. 13. EcoBoost got teased. Money's on the Z here.
Mustang versus an Accord here, possibly. Uh, my money's on the Mustang. Corvette BMW, someone possibly has nitrous. Uh, let's see who wins this one. This should be a good race. BMW is quick. Wow. Looks like he might have broken down. That's a fast BMW though. 11 9. One of them had nitrous though. Land Rover versus a. FRS or a BRZ or something like that. I think the Land Rover might scoop this one. Corvette matchup here. That's going to be the end of the video for you guys today. Tried to film an outro while we were still in Indiana, but the wind noise just absolutely destroyed it. But basically what I said was a big thanks to Indy Cars and Coffee for inviting Dayton Cars and Coffee and all those other Cars and Coffees out there. It was a great time. I do not regret going out there whatsoever. It was really fun. I got I have to make it out to them again at some point for one of their regular shows possibly. Um, but tomorrow, tomorrow's video, we will be going to Hebron, Ohio for the import face-off. I will be with Q. He hasn't been on the channel in a while, but he's coming back for this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Uh, it'll be a banger tomorrow as well. A lot more drag racing to come. So if you guys enjoyed, 
Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.